Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy Neo XO here to talk about Black Clover Chapter 274. I'm hype. It seemed like when I talked about the spoilers the other day, everybody else was hyped for this chapter too. We got Mirio making an appearance. We got Noct making an appearance. Fugelian making an appearance. Yuno making an appearance. Xenon making an appearance. We got everybody in this chapter. I mean, if y'all like Black Clover, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video because that helps us grow. We about to have a big Black Clover community. If you don't believe me, check out the comment section. We're going to continue the conversation in the comments. But speaking on what I have to say, my piece on this chapter, I enjoyed this chapter. Now, this chapter definitely had a change of pace because lately we've been having kind of the same type of chapter. You know, it's kind of these training chapters with Asta and Noct, kind of the same type of vibe. But this chapter right here switched up the vibe in my opinion you guys might have your own opinion but to me this chapter switched up the vibe and by that what i mean is this chapter seems like the start of a different it, it just seemed like the start of a different like i'm not gonna say art because it's kind of like the same art but a different part you know what i mean it seemed like pro it, it seemed like we're making progress towards the war and this is pretty blatant in this chapter because it's like literally the start of the war like this is the day of the battle the battle commence we see the battle in this chapter like it started and you know some people were like tabata tabata is going to wait nah tabata don't make us wait i like tabata for that like we get to you know have it right off the bat like right after the training we get straight into the battle and that's how it is so let's talk in let's talk about specifics basically knocked comes up you know he talking to the rest of the squad I, in my spoilers video a lot of you watched it i called this the most elite squad that we have ever seen put together and i'm standing on that and knock basically is i'm gonna I'm put knocked as the arbitrary leader because knock knows so much about the spade kingdom he knows so much about devils and knocked is just good at leading you know he's a good vice captain at the end of the day now some people think he's not a good vice captain because he so say left the black bulls or he just kind of left them on his own but if you guys were paying attention he actually was watching them the whole time with his shadow magic so noct is actually a good vice captain and he actually has a good heart he's a righteous person he is a righteous being in my opinion at least so basically you know he comes and he's talking to the this elite squad you know with the captains in Fugelian, Jack, Charlotte. He talking to this elite squad and he basically giving them some information. He goes ahead and he tells them that Asta is gonna be joining them shortly or, you know, in a little bit of time. Asta needs more time. We know that Asta needs to train with his devil, Lieb. They need to do a little bit more training, you know, so they can master their union mode. I think Asta is gonna make a great appearance soon in one of these chapters just not now we gotta have some of the other characters shining you know asta is the star of the show at the end of the day asta is the main character of this manga so we're gonna have him make a cool appearance you know we're gonna see that union mode i'm glad tabata held off on it i know some people were upset they were like oh tabata didn't show us the form i'm happy man because like this is just getting started this is just getting started right here now when knock is talking to the squad we get to see that sally Rodis and valtos is there Valtos really don't be saying much. We know Sally has a good personality. She likes to say a lot. We basically see from her perspective, she's she's wanting to, she's wanting to see more Asta, you know. And I gotta say this right here: if you're not watching the anime, you are tripping because at this point in the manga, the anime and the manga are literally the same two sides of the same coin like some people think oh the the anime does its own thing, the manga does its own thing. No, literally the anime leads into the manga and the manga leads into the anime they it they, it only makes 100 percent full sense if you check out both of them now you can get away with watching just the anime you know but like i'm bringing this up because they literally have makusa in this in this chapter and that man is straight from the anime like we didn't even see this man in the manga before so i mean i know some of y'all don't watch the anime i'm gonna just catch y'all in makusa was in an anime only episode where sally went over to the black bulls to do some experiments to create a magical item and she did this in like episode 140 i think you guys should go watch my review on that episode if you haven't but like in episode 140 makusa basically escorted sally over to experiment on the black bulls to create a magic item and it seems like the magic item is complete and they're going to be using it so i like that i like how the anime 
fed into the manga because that part wasn't in the manga but we it's kind of like a treat for us who watch both because like yeah we're, we're being rewarded for watching the anime you know in the manga and basically we see some seke i gotta talk about seke because like I've, i read all my comments guys and like i can definitely see you guys love some seke so i'm gonna talk about my guy seke people were saying oh i hope seke was training for all that time nah fam seke ain't do no training bro he did not do no training in that six month time period and knocked in jack was like we gotta see what you got man and then knocked was like uh not like i know you weak fam Nock told that boy Seke he was like you might as well be a sacrifice for humanity and Seke like Seke I don't know man I really want to see what Seke is about because like I said I get a lot of comments about Seke but y'all be just saying nothing but memes like let's be let's be real when it comes to Seke like he might have some hidden potential unless Tabata do him dirty but y'all don't think Tabata gonna do him dirty I don't think Tabata gonna do Seke dirty, so he might have some hidden potential. Moving on, I don't want I don't want to talk about it too much, but basically we see my boy you know, and I say my boy you know like that because I know y'all seen the new episode of Black Clover, you know versus Langris. That was a clean fight. I tweeted that on Twitter. Y'all go follow me on Twitter if y'all not following me on Twitter. But yeah, that was a clean fight. So my boy you know, y'all gotta put respect on his name after he he did that to Langris. And basically, you know, basically uh what am I call that? He basically validates Knox saying like uh Asta gonna pull up. But he he he's he talking hard. You know saying I'ma take care of it before Asta even get here. Okay, now you're going too far, you know. You're not about to take care of nothing before Asta get there. He gonna take care of some stuff, but like he not gonna take care of everything. Asta is definitely needed. Asta is needed for this. He really, really is, cause the, the dark triad is not playing no games. And basically the dark triad xenon man it looked like xenon is like more of a leader than dante because dante in a test tube we got the resistance coming out of nowhere tabata shout out to you i never saw this coming the spade has a resistance knocked is in cahoots with the resistance from the spade but to be honest the resistance from the spade do not look strong so i expect them to be getting wiped out maybe not completely maybe they might have some survivors but i'm suspecting them to lose some members definitely because they don't look that strong but you know basically the resistance is all about their ideology is they don't like the dark triad they don't consider the dark triad to be the true rulers of the spade kingdom and they basically they basically are on you know's side you know because you know's family used to rule the spade kingdom but the dark triad took them out by coup and became the rulers of the spade kingdom by force and the resistance do not claim the dark triad so they're trying to take the dark triad out and basically from the dark triad's perspective they don't even consider those people in the resistance citizens of the spade kingdom due to the fact that the dark triad considers them weak the dark triad only considers the strong as true citizens of the spade kingdom now that seems very much in the self-interest of the dark triad so it seems like the dark triad only claims like strong people it's kind of like the clover kingdom a little bit except on like steroids the you know it, 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 if, if the clover kingdom was basically evil so basically we see we see the squad this elite squad going and they basically going uh for the attack we see some dialogue between knocked and some of the people from the spade so he has some connections that's basically all that was letting us know right there is that knocked has some connections in the spade kingdom and knocked really just have connections all around then we see this big devil looking thing like I was not expecting this to be in this chapter like we literally saw it last chapter and in this chapter it is you know released now the fact that it was released so early I don't know how strong this thing is going to be and I but I say that because if you watch the anime of Black Clover we see some big creatures just get completely obliterated so just because this thing is big don't mean it's about to do damage I'm not saying I'm not saying either or Cause I know some people are gonna be like that thing about to do damage and it is doing damage that thing tearing through towns like it's literally tearing through towns but I'm gonna skip ahead and talk about what I want to talk about Muriel came in clutch and she punched that thing right in the face Muriel is so clutch like Muriel comes through she got a new cut I like your cut G and 
basically she pull up she really punched that thing in the face with like some her flames burning bright and so yeah i predict that probably we probably gonna get a muriel chapter next and like it's crazy because she really hit the heck out of that thing bro like she really hit that thing hard um that's most of the stuff i wanted to talk about in this chapter if y'all want me to talk about something else like i said y'all can always hit the comments because i know like some things i don't talk about in the chapter but like that's just because i know y'all read the chapter for yourself so i just want to talk about like things that i personally find interesting and stuff like that you know i might have not talked about something specific that you wanted me to talk about but i'll be more than happy to reply to your comment if you leave it in the comments but with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video this was a good chapter and leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you're not it's been your boy neo xo and i'm out